Let's talk a little bit about resonance for NO2. This is nitrogen dioxide. First off, if you're looking for NO2 minus, that's a very different compound. So NO2, this is a molecule here. It's a neutral molecule. But NO2 minus, this is an ion. This is called the nitrite ion. So if you need help with the nitrite ion, which also has resonance, there's a link in the description. Let's talk about nitrogen dioxide. Nitrogen dioxide has 17 valence electrons. So when we draw the Lewis structure, we have an odd number of valence electrons. Nitrogen ends up having just the seven valence electrons here. Both oxygens, they have octets though. So the nitrogen, it's an exception to the octet rule. It can have seven valence electrons, but we don't see that very often. And there's another way we could draw this Lewis structure. We can move the double bond on the other side. So we'd put these two electrons here and then we move these two out here. And now our double bond is on the opposite side. We have one here and then this one up here. But these are what we call the major resonance structures, the major equivalent resonance structures because we just flipped where the double bond is. You'll often see it written like this. And then brackets are often placed around each one of the compounds. So these are our two equivalent resonance structures, the major equivalent resonance structures for NO2, this nitrogen dioxide. Understand they're not switching back and forth. If we had a molecule of NO2 in the real world, it would be an average of these. We could draw that something like this. So instead of having a single and a double, we average them to get these 1.5 bonds here. Note that we do have lone pairs here. They're just not drawn. So these are the major resonance structures for NO2, nitrogen dioxide. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.